I am I am worked up. I'm worked up because I I really I, someone's a big freaking hypocrite. Somebody's a huge hypocrite. Uh we put in a request to get Paul Feinbaum on the air. <laughs> I am he went on ESPN today to talk about the alliance. And this guy had the gall to say that the alliance between the Big Ten, the ACC, and the Pac-12, which we're not even really sure what it is. The way that they talked yesterday was very vague. There's no contract. I, I, I'm, I re- if you're going to do this, do it right. Please don't screw this up like they did the Big Ten Pac-12 scheduling con- contract, which never amounted to anything. Otherwise, it's just, it's just a joke. But Feinbaum said the following things about what this alliance does. He was upset because it would drive college football and the p- parties in college football further apart. That We all should be coming together. To which there's truth in that. But what started all this? Because let's face it, Feinbaum's synonymous with the Southeastern Conference. What started all this was the Southeastern Conference poaching the two bookmark, like the, the cornerstone teams in the Big 12. That's what started all this. The Big 12 is done, okay? Greg Sankey, the commissioner of the SEC, lit a fuse on a giant nuclear bomb and threw it at the Big 12. And boom! It's done. And why? Why did they do that? Did college football need Oklahoma and Texas in the Southeastern Conference? Did, is that Was that a, something that brings everybody together? No, Doug, I don't think so. Was that a move that brings everybody together? No, Doug, I think that's a, that's a move to make the SEC more powerful. He nuked another conference. Feinbaum's conference nuked another conference. So the Big Ten, the ACC, and the Pac-12... Which, by the way, is the second time that they've raided that conference. Yes, because they took Texas A&M and Missouri before. So, and and if you're going to do that, that's fine. But then don't have Feinbaum going on ESPN talking about how we all need to come together. This is driving us apart. This alliance. Bulls. BS. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh, boy. That's a bunch of BS. Yeah, exactly. Because it's not the alliance that's driving people apart. It's the depth charge you threw at the Midwest with that and the Big 12. Then he adds, the other thing this alliance does is it takes us further from the playoff, which uh, a playoff expansion, which everybody agrees college football needs. Maybe. Maybe they all do agree. And, and I, I have been anti-expanding of the playoff, but open-minded about it in recent years. And I'm thinking, oh, the playoff idea that came from the desk of Greg Sankey, commissioner of the SEC, with help from Notre Dame Commissioner Jack Swarbrick, oddly Big 12 Commissioner Bob Bowlesley, and the Commissioner of the Mountain West, who nobody knows who it is, that's who put together this playoff proposal. And all the Big 10, the ACC, and the Pac-12 are doing is saying, hey, we'd like to hear our ideas about a playoff expansion as well. Instead of just accepting what, the, what basically Greg Sankey proposed. Because who's really running that playoff proposal? You got one guy who's a commissioner of a conference that is going to be done in, you know, five, four, three, two, one. You got another guy who's a AD of one school, albeit a powerful one, and another guy who's a commissioner of a conference that who's in it? Who's in it? So it's Sankey's proposal. And it might be a great proposal, but the Big Ten, the ACC, and the Pac 12 are asking to have a seat at the table to discuss this. Maybe they'll ask for more teams. Maybe they'll ask for less. Maybe they'll ask for regional balance. Maybe they'll ask for playoff games to be played somewhere other than SEC territory. But to say those two things, that it's dry, oh, we should all be coming together. It started with the power move made by the Southeastern Conference, which I'm starting to hate. Mm -hmm. And with this whole idea that it's driving us further away from the playoff, which everybody agrees we need. Maybe, but is there anything wrong with the Big 12, the ACC, and the Pac-12 asking to be heard? Is there anything wrong with that? 
No doubt. So I don't think we're going to hear back from Mr. Feinbaum. But the, this, the polarization didn't start with the, the alliance. <laughs> and don't give me that. Don't give me that at all. So anyway. Now, this alliance... I mean, let's no gentleman's agreement. Let's get something written down here. I, I'm I'm scared that this is a whole bunch of noise and not reality. Well, maybe it's just enough of a check to let other forces know that hey, careful what you guys do because there could be a, a very strong counter to what you try to do without having to really do anything yet. What would I, would I love to see a schedule where they they include two games a year? Where our Big Ten teams get to play one ACC opponent, one Big Twelve opponent, or one Big uh, Pac twelve opponent, I would love it. Yeah, and and I hope that they can get that done. But otherwise, I'm not really sure what they need to put down on paper, other than we're agreeing to do scheduling. We agree not to poach each other's conference for for schools. I mean, if we're worried about division in college football, like let's let's play this out. Worst case scenario, okay. This alliance does get written down on paper. Southeastern Conference now can't really schedule against ACC, Big Ten, and Pac-12 teams. So they're calling up and, and looking for their own alliance. They're looking for, hey, Sunbelt. Hey, American. Right. Hey, you know, Mountain West, we need you. Will you play non-conference? Will you agree to play non-conference games with us? Hey, Ivy. <laughs> right. So they're going to – they're going to they're, – they're, so that happens. So let's say now we get the MAC aligns with the Big Ten, and you know I mean I mean what is left? I'm forgetting a the conference. There's ten conferences. Whatever the other conference is, Conference USA is a conference. Yeah, USA? there you go. Yeah, and so the, you get all this. You get these divisions and this alignment, and then the playoff committee. The first time the playoff committee takes a nine and three Iowa over an eight and four LSU. The SEC goes, screw that, we're pulling out of it, we're running our own playoff. Right? I mean, is that is that the Armageddon scenario where basically we split into two leagues? This is the worst. Okay. This is yeah. way down the road, the worst that could happen. They split into two leagues, and the Southeastern Conference says we're gonna have our own eight team playoff. And yes, the Sun Belt and the the American and Conference USA, you have a chance to get in. And the you know, the the then we'll have our own playoff up here. This is the worst case scenario. Yeah. And if we want to avoid going down that road, here's a thought. Rethink Oklahoma and Texas to the SEC. Because you know what that's about? What is that about, ultimately? Power. Greed. It's greed, money, power. It's all that stuff. 